2019's Terminator Dark Fate. Sarah Connor and a hybrid human cyborg must protect a young girl from a newly modified liquid Terminator from the future. Directed by Tim Miller. There are multiple writers in this film, including James Cameron. Welcome to the American Recut. I'm Nick. I'm Brendan. And once again, this is spoiler free for a review. Don't worry about that part. But let's get into Terminator Dark Fate. Ugh. So first off, the story for this film. Uh, pretty lackluster. Oh, very much so. It was dumb. I didn't it's, like it at all. It's got the same problems as multiple other Terminators, where it's very packed on the action and the effects. It's what they're primarily focused on and concerned with. Yep. It doesn't have much time for actual, like, humanizing moments. And there's parts of the story that kind of really don't jive well with the supposed previous two parts of Terminator 1 and 2. But that comes later. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, we have got characters. Uh, yep. Sarah Connor returns for a third time as as a leading role in this, as does Arnold Schwarzenegger as as the as one of the Terminators. As he does. As uh, he this is. also introduces two new characters, Grace and Danny. Generally speaking, most of these characters are pretty forgettable. Yeah, very. They don't really have that much going on, or if they have things going on, they're generally kind of a little bit pointless in some ways. They have a very strange interrelationship in that sense. Yeah, they do. There, there's some questionable choices with the characters, and generally, I didn't find them terribly interesting. No, nor did I. Um, the effects, well, you know, it was a smorgasbord of effects. I mean, every scene, almost every scene was riddled with effects. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's definitely tons of effects, but this is the kind of uh, CGI that we would call bad because uh, you can you, you can always notice when something's a CG scene. You can always notice when the Liquid Terminator goes from an actual actor to a CG actor. Yeah. Uh, the sound design in this movie is particularly bad. I noticed a few points where sound like lines were very obviously dubbed over and they didn't sound right or they sounded a bit too loud or too quiet. Uh, soundtrack wasn't terribly impressive. No. Generally, even the effects in this movie just aren't satisfying. Right, no, they're not. It's just over the top. They make no effort to conceal that it's CGI. <laughs> and it's just, like I said, it's over the top. It's, ugh. Uh, in terms of themes, there isn't much going on here. This has the same problem as a lot of other post-T2 movies where it's very vague themes or themes that are kind of too nebulous to uh, to have answered well in a movie, right? Well, and it, it's just also a typical. It's such a rehashed destination movie. You know, you have someone from the future issuing a dire warning of a robot coming to kill such and such. They kill the robot. The end. You know, I mean, until the next robot shows up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's uh, well. I mean, that's the story. But as far as themes go, as far as themes, yeah, the, there's nothing really. There's no themes I can think of. Uh, there's some vague ones, but we'll get into that later. Uh, sure. So f let's get into our recommendations individually. Uh, would you like to start? Um, this movie was just painful from start to finish. I I I did not like it at all. It tried to do a homage to the first two Terminator movies, but ultimately I feel like it did a piss take on them. <laughs> I was not satisfied at all. I would I would avoid this movie like the plague. Uh, likewise, this is very typical kind of Hollywood trash movie style. Um, it, it tries to catch it on some nostalgia from older movies, but it does not succeed in that. Right. New characters generally fall flat or are not terribly interesting, uh, and because they have to split the spotlight between the old characters and the new characters, none of them feel like they get enough attention, and none of them feel like they're terribly well fleshed out. Right. I would not recommend this movie. Nope. And we'll eviscerate this movie in the ramble on, so we will see you there, folks. If I can find the energy for it, I just didn't care that much about this movie. 